Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Amazon haul. I've been doing a little bit of online shopping and um, I basically just picked up a bunch of dresses and then one skirt. But I feel like there's one specific dress and then that one skirt that you guys are just gonna like die over because they are so, so cute. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in and let me show you what I got. Okay, so this is the first dress that I'm gonna show you and it's just a bodycon dress. I did wanna show you that it is fleece lined. It's very, very soft inside. It feels like velvet. It's a thin fleece, you know, it's not real thick. It's not, you know, gonna be real hot or anything like that. But I appreciate it because it's definitely not gonna be see-through. Um, I don't know if all the colors are fleece lined. I just know that the green one is. So anyway, this is what the rest of the dress looks like. As you can see, it is, it goes down to my knees. It is your typical bodycon dress. You know, I love a bodycon dress, but either you love them or you hate them. You know, um, there's no in between. This is definitely not gonna be one of those dresses that you wanna wear to, to a big dinner, you know, because the second you eat, you're gonna get bloated and it's gonna show because, you know, you're wearing a bodycon dress. I actually also love that it's got this beautiful kind of square rounded neck. I think that's really flattering on, you know, most women. So yeah, this is what the dress looks like. This is what it looks like from behind and yeah. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you have seen this dress before. And this is very similar to the dress that I just showed you. However, it is not fleece lined. I'm not sure if I got it from the same vendor, but they look very similar. You know, they go to the knee, they've got the square, you know, rounded neck here. Um, the reason I really love this one is because it is so forgiving. And the reason it's forgiving is because of the pattern. It's so busy that I would definitely wear this out to dinner because even if I got bloated, you would really have to be studying my midsection so hard because the pattern is so busy that typically you just kind of get the overall picture you know what i mean but um but with the other dress that's kind of solid you kind of i don't know it's just a lot more obvious if you're bloated um so anyway i love again these bodycon dresses now this one i did want to say also um even from the back if you have cellulite or dimples or saddle bags or anything like that because this pattern is so busy it just camouflages all that. So you still get the look of a bodycon dress um, without having to worry about, you know, any flaws and stuff like that, you know. This is also one of those dresses you can put on some cute little light wicker earrings, some nude strappy sandals, and head out to the beach, even head to the grocery store. You know, tie-dye is very casual, but you can also throw on some heels and some cute jewelry. And, and dress it up a little bit. So I would definitely wear this one out to dinner. And I wanna pick up another one with another, you know, kind of busy pattern, but it can't be a uniform busy pattern. Like it's gotta be like this, right? So anyway, um, again, this is what it looks like from the back. And this is what it looks like from the front. Okay, y'all, so this is the dress that I was telling you that I feel like everybody's just gonna die over. Look at how cute this dress is. It's a t-shirt dress, but it has this nice little slit. So it has, you know, it makes it just a little bit sexy. A little leg pop, you know, makes it look a little bit more sexy. And then it's got this right here. And you can make it as loose or as tight as you'd like. You know what? I bet you could also tie it from behind. Huh. That looks actually kind of cute. I don't know. Um, but it's not meant to be worn that way. It's meant to be worn tied in the front. Like I said, you can do it as tight or as loose as you'd like. Now, aside from just being a super cute dress, on top of it, this material is so incredibly comfortable. It's like a, like a really, really soft jersey material. And it just kind of lays on your body. And oh my God, it is so, so comfortable. Now, my husband really likes this dress. He's like, I really like that dress on you. And I thought, you know what, this would be perfect to wear. Now I have jewelry and like, you know, little low heels, but I'm gonna switch my shoes real fast. So I just put on these little low wedge, um, you know, flip flops. And I actually bought these, I wanna say at the grocery store, at my local grocery store. I just feel like they're so cute, they're all blingy. But um, I like to wear them to the beach or around the pool and stuff like that. And this dress is so comfortable. Like whenever we go to my in-laws, they have a pool in the backyard. And so the kids always swim in the pool and stuff. And sometimes me and my husband will get in and then sometimes we'll just hang out, you know, with my in-laws and just sit around the pool and watch the kids swim and stuff like that. I feel like this is such a comfortable dress that it would be perfect 
for just hanging out in the backyard. It's so cool. It's got the slit, you know, you get a breeze, you know. Um, anyway, I just think it's so, so cute. I would definitely even wear this to the grocery store. Everything that I own has to be able to go for sure the casual way and then occasionally, you know, the non-casual way, just because I'm typically a very casual person. So yeah, this is a dress that I thought that you guys would absolutely love because I love it. Okay, y'all, so right now, this is literally like one of my favorite looks. This is a skirt that I was telling you guys that I feel like you would just totally love because it has a total vibe to it. And I wanted to show you this real fast. It's got this, you know, liner. It's not a skirt. Um, it's just a liner. It's kind of thin just in case, I guess, it blows open or something like that. You know, you're not going to expose yourself or flash anyone. Um, it just kind of tie. I mean, it didn't tie. It, um, it's sewn up here. It almost looks like you've tucked in a towel or something, right? Um, and then it's a little asymmetrical, so it's a little bit different on this side. It's got a very slinky feel to it. Like it feels almost like satin and silk mixed together. And it's, like I said, it's just very, very slinky. This is one of those that you can either wear like this, like an outfit, or you can wear this with literally a bikini top to the beach and that would have that would be such a cute look to me this skirt reminds me of like belly dancer slash like boho vibe like all wrapped into one it's just it's so feminine and just unique i mean the style is just so unique i love everything about this skirt now i just have these little shoes that i picked up at ross they're just like a goddess style with the braid that goes over the top. Now this little tank top is just a Venus tank top. I've showed it to you before. I bought it in every color because it is literally the best fitting tank top I've ever worn in my life. I don't have it pulled all the way down. I actually have it kind of scrunched up right now. I wanted to show you the back. Um, this is an elastic waistband. So, you know, you can wear it really high waisted like this, or you can probably wear it lower waisted. But right now, you know, the style is kind of in. But anyway, another thing that I love about the skirt is again, it's so busy right in here that even if your tummy is your problem area, or even if, you know, you eat a big meal and you're real bloated or it's that time of the month or whatever, um, this whole, all this stuff going on right here is just gonna camouflage it, you know? You would have to really be focusing in on somebody's body to try to see if they're bloated or if they have a little tummy or whatever, you know? But anyway, I just thought that you guys would love this, mainly because I love it. <laughs> so I feel like if I love it, everybody else else loves it, right? So anyway, I just thought that, that it was a really, really cute, um, very slinky, just fun little unique skirt. Okay, so here we are back to a bodycon dress. And this one's a little bit shorter than I typically wear. Um, it's more of a mini and it's got a very sporty look to it because of the way that it's shaped, you know, around the arms and the neck. It's very, you know, high on the neck, which I like. Um, so aside from it just being a little bit short, it's not totally revealing or anything like that. One thing that I really love about it, it's got all this ruching. And one thing about ruching is that it can be very forgiving, you know, because it's, you know, it confuses things, right? So anyway, um, this is what it looks like. Now, I guess you could, pull the dress down, but then you would lose a lot of the ruching. And I actually like the ruching. I don't think it's too short. I feel like this is a very appropriate length for somebody my age. I'm 47. I'm about to be 48. Oh my gosh. I'm about to be 48 in July, the beginning of July. I just can't even believe it sometimes. Whenever it comes out of my mouth, I'm just like, is that true? Is it true that I'm really 48? So anyway, um, I love, you know, like I said, I love a bodycon dress. I was really wanting a tank top dress. I love that style. I love the tank top dress style. And I did want something a little bit shorter. You know, in the past, I've never really wanted to show my legs too much because I've never felt real confident about them. Um, I've been working out a little bit more than usual. And so I feel like after like a year and a half of really working at it, I'm really starting to see some progress. And so, um, so it feels good. And sometimes, you know, I'm like, I am gonna wear the dress. I am gonna wear the shorts, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if I should, but I'm gonna do it. Um, also, I had a snow skiing accident um, and whenever I was young, and so this knee looks really funky, you know, especially right in this area. It just, it, it doesn't cock back all the way, like, I'm gonna show you this. 
Like this one will go back all that, that far. This is as far, it won't go back any further than that. So how this one will go back, this one won't. Um, it's just like stuck there. And I had surgery on it. I thought that they were gonna fix that. That's like the, one of the biggest reasons I had the surgery. I was like, good, my leg will finally be able to cock back like it used to. And it just never happened. So anyway, so, so it kind of looks funky in there. Um, and so now I'm just like, you know what? Hopefully nobody is just studying you and trying to pick you apart like that. You know what I mean? That's what's kind of funny about YouTube. You know, people have an opportunity to just stare at you and just pick you apart because you're looking right into a camera and they don't have to be uncomfortable with you looking back at them while they're sitting there, you know, scoping you out, you know? And, uh, but in typical situations, that's never the case. Half the time, I don't even know what kind of pants somebody's wearing or especially what kind of shoes they're wearing because you just don't constantly look somebody up and down, nor do I notice if one of their eyes sit a little higher or if their nose is a little crooked because typically when you're talking, you're just kind of like talking and conversational and you check back in. So nobody's just like sitting there staring straight at your face, you know, picking you apart like some people do on YouTube. So anyway, uh, I don't know why I went off in that direction. <laughs> why I just have, whenever I put on a video, I always have those few people that are just ready to just criticize you in the back of my head, I'm like, what are they gonna say? What are they gonna say about this, you know? So anyway, I am wearing a little bit of a shorter dress and I actually kinda like it. Okay, so before anybody like crucifies me for the length of this dress, um, just know that I purchased this specifically toward the beach. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen me in it at the beach because I put up a little video with this dress um, on at the beach. Now, the reason it's for beach only is because it's so short. And I don't typically wear dresses this short. This is really short. This is something, this is a length I would have worn when I was younger in my 20s and stuff. I might have even wanted to hem it a little bit. I liked my dresses really, really short whenever I was in my 20s and in high school. Now, I have to clarify, that's not to say that if you are over age 40, you shouldn't be wearing dresses or skirts this short. Whatever you're comfortable in, you know, wear it. If it makes you feel confident, it makes you feel beautiful, sexy, whatever, wear it. But I think all of us just kind of make rules for ourselves when it comes to, you know, what we will and won't wear. And so anyway, um, this, I would, like I said, I would definitely wear it to the beach, I already have. I would wear it to a restaurant near the beach because everybody there is wearing flip-flops and stuff like this. This would be perfect for throwing over your swimsuit. It's very loose um, in the midsection. It's ribbed. Uh, it's loose, you know, everywhere. It's just a very comfortable, you know, simple, simple little dress for the beach. So anyway, that's it. And I did want to show you that I'm wearing it with this little bandeau style bra. And I get asked about what bra I wear with dresses like this a lot. I pick this up at Walmart in store. It's ribbed and it's, but even though it's ribbed, I don't know if you can tell that it's ribbed, even though it's ribbed, it's very, it still has a very smooth look to it, you know, and it's not always falling. You're not always like tugging on it or anything like that. It does have little, I guess it came with some straps that I might have misplaced or something because it has, you know, little loops there that you can put straps on. So maybe if you want to wear it with a halter or, you know, just straps in general, but I like it. I like the way that it looks. It's got a smooth look. Like I said, I'm not tugging on it all the time. I have searched online to see if I can find one. For you guys but it's not sold online it's only sold in store and i want to say it was like either 5.99 or 9.99 something like that so inexpensive and i just love it i bought one for myself and then one for my daughter also so anyway that's it so that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching as usual i'm going to go ahead and have um, links to all the items that i showed you in this video in my description box below just in case you're interested and you want to go check them out um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you back here next week.